Dr. Suleiman, right? Yeah, Dr. Suleiman. And um, I have several things I need to go over with him. He wanted me to see, I'm reading the things that I need to go over with him on my phone, but um, I was gonna ask him if the allergist I was going to is the right one, but it is. We already found that when we went to the um, doctor, but I didn't Skype that one. I made that boring update video about that. So if you wanna learn about or know about that appointment, you should watch that video. Um, uh, but I need him to send all my new diagnoses to my doctors. Um, I want to ask if he, we can possibly do saline infusions, maybe like during my IVIG that I'm going to be doing, something like that, because the medicine that he gave me, I can't keep down. I tried it without eating, with eating, um, I've tried it with the patch, without the patch, I've done everything, and I keep throwing it up. And the reason I know I'm throwing it up is because I can taste it when I vomit, which is nasty. Um, <laughs> he was going to send me to some kind of, um doctor that knows about pots but with my mall's pain there I, there's honestly no way I'm gonna be able to do that I can barely get to the, the living room um, without being in too much pain let alone clean my room um, so exercise just seems impossible and I feel like it would make I would be in bed afterwards for way too long and I wouldn't be able to it would just be I just don't think it'd be a good option for me um, I need to get a copy of all his notes, which doesn't really matter, but I thought I'd throw that out there. And then um, I want to ask about my pinky, because my pinky just hurts all the time. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm like dislocating it or something. And um, if I hold my phone or my camera with it, it hurts. And so um, if I sit up with my hand like this, you know, it hurts. Any any time I touch it, it just, it just hurts. And I want to see if there's something they can do about it possibly. And then I also kind of need to talk about braces and um, when I need a brace, why does it hurt my bones and what we can do about that, stuff like that. Um, he's going to go over some other stuff probably, like I've gotten some t t um, d certain tests done, so he's probably going to go over results for that. So it's going to be a lot of information, I believe, coming back if I remember to ask him everything I want to ask him. So, um, yeah, I'll um, update you when we're there. just finished my ultrasound and they I wasn't allowed to record it because of the way I had to hold my arms up in the air. I need to put my shoulder pad back on. The assistant just came in and he asked us um, since my, all the things that we want to go over so Dr. Sh Dr. Solomon's job is a bunch easier. My phone will never shut up. 
But um, we're gonna be going over my the pink my pinky um, braces, my mom's pain infusions, and then any um, test results that he comes up and tells us about. And so hopefully we have um, I don't know my brain's too I've been out too long, but um, hopefully some good news comes out of this maybe. Maybe he can get like me a um, celiac block injection when I'm like totally out because if I'm awake, I won't be able to do it. So let's see what he says. I'm in the bathroom again. This is like the fourth time I've been in the bathroom, but you know, I see problems. So we're gonna be leaving and um, we're kind of in an area where we can't do anything because um, my throat. My, arm, my vomiting is so bad and my pain is so bad I can't exercise. Oh, I can't breathe. So we're going to be doing saline infusions and um, something else, but I'll tell you in a minute. I'm going to finish peeing. Um, has a uh, what do you call it on it? Uh, it has Samsung Health on it, and it like counts my um, wheelchair as me walking. We're on our way home now. Um, he's wanting us to do uh, one infusion for three weeks, so that means for three weeks we'll do a fusion every week at this like um, facility infusion facility, and he's going to be putting some medication in with the saline. Um, if I didn't mention that, it's saline infusions with another type of medication in it. And then after we start doing the IVIG, he'll stop that other medication and just do the um, infusion. But um, that is only if um, we start IVIG during the infusion time, which I don't know when that will start. It's whenever they call us and schedule appointment for that. Yeah, if you didn't know that already, IVIG got approved. I'm gonna still have to make a video for that. I have a bunch of like miscellaneous videos all around that I need to put together, but we didn't actually go into the place to get told that it was approved. They told us over the phone. He's hoping that this will help my pain, not because infusions is gonna help anything with pain, but he says that POTS amplifies any pain that you have in your body. And so he says if we start making it better, my heart not peed all the time because a few days ago I was laying down and it went up to 118 when I was just laying down, not doing anything. Um, it should help with my mall's pain and all that stuff. And um, ah. um, we the mall's is 90% confirmed, but there's still a 10% that's not confirmed because we haven't done a CT scan and we're not gonna do the CT scan yet. Um, the only time we'll probably do that is if we need to make sure that we definitely have it if we decide to do surgery. So I do have it, but we just haven't done the full on CT scan and they have to do a special kind. Do you think we're ever gonna do that or no? It's pretty sure he has. Yeah, we're, he's pretty sure, but I don't, it just seems like an added expense right now if you know Medicaid doesn't wanna cover it. We already, what? He needs to go ahead and do it for our insurance. We'll have to tell him that last next time. But I have a tick that y'all have seen, I'm sure, where I hit myself in the head. And so every time I go out, I have this huge headache. Um, and like I'm afraid to wear glasses because if I hit myself in the face, um, it hurts more, obviously. But like I also have a staph infection in my nose right now. And I'm pretty sure like hitting it my nose ain't gonna help that <laughs> but he says it, it it's in my piercing but he says I have the staph infection all in my nose how that happened I don't know but I am really hoping that he's right that this will help my pain because if it helps my pain that'll be a freaking miracle right now <laughs> hey so it is like May now that 
what y'all just saw the vlog that y'all just saw was filmed sometime after December I can't really remember the um when it was like a day after my um last video and um so um when I made the close out part of the previous video I knew that I was going to get emergency saline infusions but um technically if I had filmed that close out part before the day before the day that this vlog was filmed I guess um if hopefully that makes sense I wouldn't have known that so that kind of throws me off because I want these videos to be as um, true to the time and knowledge that I knew when I was filming them and the issue is that half the time I film a video and then don't fully finish it and I have to come back to it later and try to remember what I knew and what I didn't know um, just because I want it to be true to like the journey and how everything happens because I want people to have like a um, what do you call it like a I want their expectations of the chronic of a chronic illness journey to be accurate and um, you know it's not so simple that you just go to the doctor and then, oh you know everything and then like you're fixed and uh, you have an amazing treatment plan and all this crap that a lot of people think it is that it's just totally not um, I want my vlogs, my cat is meowing, <sighs> sorry about that, what was I saying? I want my vlogs to be an accurate representation of reality, and I feel like a lot of people on YouTube don't do that, it's always kind of like sugarcoated a little bit, and I don't really want to sugarcoat my stuff, um, I don't think I really could either way, um, it would make me feel weird, and that's kind of half the time why when I film my hair looks like absolute shit, because that's the reality. Half the time, I do not look put together. I'm in so much pain that I don't really have the energy to brush my hair. And my hair is really long. It's like hip length. Um, and people have told me to cut it. But that per personally wouldn't work for me. I have an Instagram, um, what do you call it? Post up why. I also have it on Patreon. So I'll link the Patreon version because that'll probably be easier. I think it, it should be public so you can watch not watch it but read it but um as of now um since this is may and the vlog that you, the main vlog that you just saw that cut off when i was ticking um i had to put my phone my camera out so i wouldn't throw it but um i got out of the hospital not the hospital it wasn't admitted but i got out of the er um two days ago maybe three days ago my sleep schedule really fucks me up because it is now 7 a.m. and I'm about to be going to sleep. So that tells you how fucked up it is. Um, I am sick right now and I'm trying not to rub my face. I have a really bad habit of rubbing my face when I talk. And I just think that looks really ugly. But nothing I can really do about it because it's just instinct. Um, I even have a face rubbing tick. So I rub my face because it itches. But then I also rub my face because of the tick. So, you know, that's how life is. Ha! Ha! Biscuit! <laughs> but, from my memory, um, he told me, basically, that the big thing, that the main thing that we need to worry about is the fact that I can't keep medication down and I can't keep food down. And he told me that if I don't, if, like, we can't figure it out, that he's gonna have to send me to a doctor that's out of state and like, there's no way we could do that I don't know how we would do that I guess we would if we absolutely had to but we're trying our hardest not to do that um, and so we're gonna be doing or we already did but we're gonna we did the um, 24 hour uh, why am I can't talk oh, we did the tw we did the emergency infusions and so y'all will see those videos soon they're gonna be hard to edit because I really didn't have very much to talk about but I think I filmed a lot so I gotta go through a lot of crap and that whole time period was very emotional for me and going through that footage is gonna bring up some of that stuff and um, I've been kind of putting it off um, I have been slacking a lot on 
like vlogging itself and uh, just straight up editing half the time I don't have the brain for it I w watch the video and then I can't remember what I just watched and I can watch a 30 second clip seven times 10 times 20 times and still be like what the fuck did I just say I can't remember it because I'm just so tired and um, it's kind of showing how I've declined since starting my channel um, I did start my channel with backup videos so that I could post and I posted them probably a little bit too fast but I wanted my videos to be as close to real life as possible and that includes time frames and now I'm like fucking months months and months and months past you know it's May now and I'm posting videos about fucking December so like I'm behind and that every single time I edit that like drives me insane so I'm sorry I keep talking about how behind I am but your girl is fucking behind whatever even though that in my that bothers me I'm gonna continue to do YouTube because I really love it and my videos are just gonna be super behind and I'm sorry about that but um it's either just do it as how I can do it or not do it at all and um this has been very therapeutic for me I really love connecting with people across the world and hearing about y'all's stuff, um, about your journeys. And um, I have people that message me on my Instagram and um, I really feel like, I don't know how to say this, I guess I just feel like I found some purpose in being sick. There's not really any purpose in being sick itself. But if I can use my situation to help other people, then it makes it a lot more easier to deal with, if that makes any sense. And I don't really know what I expected when I picked up the camera. I just expected to just tell you everything that happened that day, which I think I did. I can't remember. <laughs> Anyway, I was in the emergency room. I thought I'd let y'all know that. Um, I did post a little thing on the community tab. I don't do that very often. Um, I normally update my Instagram or Patreon more often. So before I go, I just want to do like a mini... Um, kind of like a... Make sure I check off everything that we, uh, we talked about. Um, everything can't really be... We can't really do anything with my health until we get control of the vomiting. And I think I kind of got distracted when I was talking about that. But um, we're trying to hold off on going to that different state. So he has some things that he's going to do. So we're going to do the, or we already did, but you know what I mean. We're going to do the um, emergency uh, saline infusions with the albumin. And then after three weeks, we'll come back and see how it goes. And I think the vlog kind of gets rocky there because I stopped vlogging for a little bit. Just out of pure exhaustion. And so there'll be a pro probably a lot of just like update videos. Um, or maybe I'll do a whole big one. I don't know. We'll find it out. We'll find out as I go along. But um, yeah. Um, he told me that my pinky was kind of trivial, which I didn't like that. But considering the fact that I'm throwing up at least 20 times a day uh, especially at that point um, I can understand where he's coming from and he's like um, we need to focus more on the throwing up the fact that you can't take any meds the fact that you're glued to a heating pad that's kind of why I put that moment in there because um, I'm still glued to a heating pad um, but it's summer now and so it's really hard to keep a heating pad on you and not faint or at least feel like complete shit on top of being in super super amounts of pain. Um, I've burnt myself because of the heating pad because I fall asleep with it on and then I wake up with um, heat rashes all over me. My camera's gonna die. Um, but there's like, areas on my stomach that are permanently like darker because of how often I use a heating pad and it's becoming to the point where I, we don't really know the... Damn it, Oscar, get down. Get down. Down. We don't know the um, 
future repercussions. He just fell off the table. We don't know the future repercussions of using a heating pad for the amount that I do because I'm glued to a heating pad that's all the way up on max, which my heating pad gets up to 140 degrees, so it's hot as shit. Um, and it's just like constantly cooking me. And so, um, we're not too sure exactly the damage I can do. I'm pretty sure it can do damage, like, because the human body is not designed to be attached to something that that is, that's, that it gets that hot. But, um, I can't function, um, without it. Um, I'm constantly at the edge of tears because of the amounts of pain that I'm in. And so, he's trying to work on getting my pots to, pots to be better and not so bad because I have a, a pretty bad form of it and that affects basically everything um, it causes so many issues in my life and so um, just know we're taking I'm taking it day by day we're doing everything in our power to get myself in a better place um, like physically um, we're not too sure exactly what all we're gonna be able to do but I'll be posting still and yeah um, I look forward to seeing y'all again next time. My camera is dying, so before I go, I just want to mention, do you make sure that you tell me about your life? Tell me about what's going on, um, health-wise or anything, you know? Um, I don't want this to just totally be about me. I want to make sure that this is more like a, a community that you feel you can be a part of and that, um, you feel like you can get, gain some support. Um, I do try to reply to all of my comments. Um, sometimes it might take me a few days, but I always try to do that. And so, remember, you know your body better than anybody else. So please listen to it. Thank you for staying alive, and I'll see you next time.